Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, let us discuss important concepts like normal goods and inferior goods. Let us understand what is normal goods. Normal goods are those goods whose demand increases as income of the consumer increases. So there is a direct relationship between demand for normal goods and income of the consumer. So you can see here income of the consumer and demand for normal goods, there is a direct relationship. Good example for normal goods are fruits and vegetables. Dear students, on x-axis demand for normal goods and on y-axis income of the consumer is measured. So there is a direct relationship between income of the consumer and demand for normal goods. So demand curve has upward slope. It means that demand curve for normal goods has a positive slope. As income of the consumer increases, demand for normal goods also increases. Now let us discuss what are inferior goods. Inferior goods are those goods whose demand decreases as income of the consumer increases. So there is an inverse relationship between income of the consumer and demand for inferior goods. So this says that the relationship between income of the consumer and demand for inferior goods as inverse relationship. It has a downward slope that is negative slope. As income of the consumer increases, demand for inferior good decreases. So demand curve has a downward slope. Dear students, let us discuss difference between normal goods and inferior goods. There is a direct relationship between consumer's income and demand for normal goods. But there is an inverse relationship between income of a consumer and demand for inferior goods. Good examples for normal goods are fruits, vegetables and good example for inferior goods are ragi and chowa. Quantity demand for normal goods increases with increase in income of a consumer. The quantity demand for inferior goods decreases with an increase in income of a consumer. In case of normal goods, the income effect is positive. In case of inferior goods, income effect is negative. And here income demand for demand, income demand curve for normal goods is positively sloped and income demand curve for inferior goods is negatively sloped. Dear students, next topic, difference between substitute goods and complementary goods. If you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.